All right, gentlemen, before right. we get started, I'd like you to bow your heads now. I want to thank you, God, for the Eagle Tire on our set. I want to thank you for the, for the RE lights, for Pro Tools, DPA mics that allow us to speak clearly. Um, I want to thank you for our smoking hot cameraman, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and my smoking hot wife, Joan. All right, now we can get started. What do you think, Bob? Uh, what do you think about these invocations? They seem to be rubbing you the wrong way. Tell Bob? us what's going on. An invocation is not entertainment. It's not? No, it's not. What it's, is it? It's a time to reflect and a time to give thanks for the race and ask for a safe race. And you shouldn't be leaving the invocation. You shouldn't be done with the invocation and wondering what your cameraman looks like. <laughs> okay? So you think Wait, I should <laughs> Where are these rules written? <laughs> They're 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 the rules of conduct the in here. Rules. Wait a minute. In here. Wait a minute. Isn't part of religion? Isn't part of the purpose of religion to give comfort and joy to bring comfort and joy to the masses? It. it I would. I would say yes. But I guess the question is, how do you how do you get to that point? And how how what's the appropriate way in this setting to give comfort? And in, in when you're with a group of, I mean, it's it's not necessarily. Your your congregation that you're there with every week. You're on a stage. It's it's you're you're speaking to the group that's watching you there, and also the group on TV. And I think when you when you're in that big of a group and in that big of a setting, you can't make it about you. So you think it was a bit so? We're talking, of course, about Pastor Joe Nelms and the invocation at Nashville. In fact, we let, before we talk anymore, let's play a little bit of what he had to say before the race. Lord, I want to thank you for my smoking hot wife tonight, Lisa, and my two children, Eli and Emma, or as we like to call them, the little E's. Okay, so let me just outline this. You found it to be self-aggrandizing and inappropriate. You, Cutler, on the other hand, were like, change of pace, good deal, Joe Nelms, and hell, I'm not Christian anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pastor Nelms said on Sirius XM that, look, maybe if I could make some people laugh, they would look anew at, at Christianity and think, well, maybe that's worth checking out. Maybe it's not so stu stuffy and self-important, and uh, I should give it a second thought. And if, you know, that makes sense to me. The other aspect that uh, of this that I appreciate it is, to me, prayer and religion is such a personal thing that when you do it on a grand stage like that, in some ways it becomes inherently exclusive. And so Pastor Nelms took an approach that I thought was more inclusive and sort of brought a more vernacular bent to the invocation. Wow, Bob, he's thought a lot about this. But you wrote a column where you basically said the opposite, which is... That was not appropriate what he did. No, it wasn't. Bad on and you, when, Joe I Nelms. Mean, Is that and, what you said, and, Bob? Yeah, and uh, it, it almost sounded like he was a race car driver rattling off sponsors there at Victory Lane instead of instead right. of giving a prayer. Was and it that part that really bothered you? It, it you're tired the, more than the smoking hot wife? Uh, the whole thing bothered <laughs> me, actually. And, uh, yeah, and, and what, what I find really interesting is that, you know, is that, the, if you, some people said, hey, it's great. He kind of put, put his own twist on the prayer. Right. Yet on the national anthem that follows, any musician that puts any sort of twist on it is automatically like, don't invite him back. We don't want him to sing the national anthem. It's supposed to be done this way and this way did only. You ever, did you ever go to the five o'clock folk mass? If I may, because <laughs> I mean, that's a similar thing. It's like instead of playing organ music, we're going to have guys in here with guitars and all that trying to make it more accessible. But I, I guess you can go too far. Well, but if, if prayer is personal, the national anthem is representative of the country. Isn't that a distinction that, that maybe, makes sense to that? Maybe, maybe. But I, I, I just find a very interesting dynamic in the sense of that one can have a supposedly have a whole lot of leeway and the other one doesn't. And um, it just, you know, I, I didn't get out of that prayer what I would hope to get out of a pre-race prayer. What do you hope to get out of a pre-race prayer? I just hope to get out, you know, that, you know, hey, th thank I liked it for me to think about myself and what I'm thankful for on that day. And but how and did safety. what how did, safety. What, how did mm -hmm. what Pastor Nelms do preclude anybody from thinking about 
their own because sort of it connection. wasn't reverent enough, right, Bob? It wasn't well, reverent and, enough. And you're sitting there laughing, wondering what his wife looked like, and wondering why well, he's wondering well, more, no what more. Is, there is Google. <laughs> oh, okay. There is Google. I, I don't really. Come on, Bob. Need that. Are you telling me seriously that you didn't Google Lisa Nelms? I did not Google Lisa. Nelms. Well, we did it what for you. What kind of reporter are you? <laughs> what kind of reporter are you? <laughs> Somebody right. Googled it for me and sent it to me. Okay. Well, all right. So you. Okay. I I think it was an interesting act actually exercise to talk about this hard to know i think people want different things out of religion sometimes you know and i think that's maybe what this comes down to is some people are a little more comfortable with uh something that's got a lighter bent to it and some people want something a little more serious and i think you can see that uh, a lot of times you know i i grew up catholic for example and when i went to my wife's church was, was a methodist church it didn't have like the ceremony that i was used to it just didn't have it. And I was like, this is, doesn't feel like church to me because I had a different expectation, you know? So I think maybe that's what it comes down to. All right, that's our take on the Joe Nelms controversy <laughs> and his hot wife, Lisa. Rowdy.com. Smoking hot wife. Sorry, smoking hot. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com. Rowdy.com.